Oh yeah, baby. Nav. What's going on, people? It's your boy, Brass Tux in this bitch. You already know. You already know. Don't act like you didn't, because you do know. Hope you guys are having a great time. I'm chilling out. I'm gonna keep it real with you. I'm just gonna go off on a tangent for literally one minute, okay? It is true that the more attractive you are, women, the more shit you get away with, yeah? There's this new girl working in Costa, right? And I've gone to her the last three times, and she ain't made my coffee the right way. With love, with respect, okay? She ain't done that shit. The shit don't taste as it should. And every time I'm just like, ah, she knew. Had it been anyone else, I would have been like, listen, put some more shit in this bitch. Let her get away with it. I'm gonna go back there tomorrow. She gonna get it. Not in that way. Guys, this review is broken up into three parts. Part one, I'm gonna talk about the movie where I give you my thoughts. Spoiler free, my general thoughts of the movie, little plot details, this and that. Part two, I'm gonna talk to you about the motherfucking transfer, where I will proceed to go balls deep in this bitch. We're talking balls deep. Just leaving the balls hanging out or going in with the balls too. I don't know. Either way, you'll feel me. No homo, I didn't mean like that. You know what I'm saying. You'll understand, you'll get me. But ladies, you'll feel me. Depends who's watching, I guess. You're gonna get the most comprehensive review of a 4K transfer on YouTube point blank period. This is the measuring stick. Yeah, just so you know. Wait till I start reviewing sound in a month. You're all gonna get fucked up around here. Like a spy genre comedy type situation featuring Samuel L. Jackson with the lisp you gotta see to believe, yeah? Michael Caine, Colin Firth, Mark Strong, and Taron Egerton. Taron Egerton plays a young kid who's going through a pretty troubled family and what have you, bumps into Colin Firth, who is like the James Bond of the Secret Service. Colin Firth enlists him, teaches them some shit, and they go up pretty much against Samuel L. Jackson, who's ready to take on the world. Mark Strong is kind of like Colin Firth's Q. Samuel L. Jackson got this kind of, is it a toxin of some kind that just makes people crazy in this bitch? There's a lot more bells and whistles in this movie, that's what I'm gonna say about it, but I'm gonna give you my thoughts on this bitch right now. My thoughts are, I fucking love this movie. This movie is excellent, it is funny. The action scenes are amazing. Samuel L. Jackson's sidekick, Sophia Boutella. She was also in Star Trek Beyond, love her. She always plays these kick-ass women. Very nice. There's a fight at the end which involves Sophia Boutella. Very kick-ass. It's a kick-ass movie, 100%. Samuel L. Jackson is funny as hell in this bitch. He got a lisp. He talks like this, I'm ready to take over the world. But not like that. I sound like Chris Eubank. But not like that. But he got a lisp. Can't take him seriously at all. But he's taking himself seriously and I guess that's all that matters in this bitch. Highly recommend it. A1. Kingsman, shot in 2.8K. Visual effects, rendered at 2K. Digital intermediate, 2K. Upscaled to 4K. DTS HD 7.1 master audio. So how's the transfer? It's a bit of a mixed bag. It's a weird one, because you would expect by watching the Blu-ray that the action sequences is where the HDR and the added resolution really stands out, but that's really not the case. Where the HDR and resolution really stand out is in scenes that aren't action-based, where there's conversations taking place indoors and things of that ilk, pretty much. Don't get me wrong, the action scenes do look pretty good. There are moments of greatness on this disc, but generally speaking, it's all about the subtleties with this one. There is an uptick in detail overall. You'll notice little things like textures on suits, a little more depth and field in certain wide shots. The color space generally is a lot wider in this movie overall. It seems to shine more in scenes you wouldn't expect, like I mentioned before. Miss Boutella, she's got knives for legs in this bitch. Reflections on them shine a lot more on the 4K disc. If someone was sitting next to you who wasn't really aware of 4K or whatever resolution or anything, there'll be some scenes where they'll watch it and they wouldn't be able to tell you a difference. So it's a bit of a mixed bag in that respect. Dark levels are very good at this. There's a scene that takes place in space, very detailed, you can make out everything, there's no crush whatsoever. So the black levels are very good on this bitch. Close-ups of faces, 
you can definitely see a little more detail. The HDR is pretty good at the final showdown because you'll notice colors that you just couldn't see on the 1080p version. The CGI is also very good. I didn't see anything that looked suspect to me. I didn't see anything where I went, you know, mm, I didn't see that shit. It's all good on that front. I'll tell you who looks good, even subtly. Sophia Botella. God damn, baby. You look tasty. Even if you got blades for legs, you can slice me up any time, baby. So that's it about the transfer, guys. It's an uptick. Some scenes are better than others. Some scenes stand out more than others. Should you pick it up? Well, you should, because number one, it's going to be dirt cheap right now. Number two, it's the best version of the movie. So yes, you should pick it up. Like I said, guys, this is the definitive version of the movie to get. It's a subtle to great upgrade. HDR is the winner in this movie. That's probably the most noticeable thing on this disc. The, the 1080p was a, a very good Blu-ray. So if you're expecting a night and day difference, it's just not going to happen here. But you will see a difference in parts. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's my review on this. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. Definitely subscribe. Plenty more coming. And I'll catch up with you guys next time.